It's amazing Shout how he AMP. hated on the AMP. You see? You see? I told you. Every time I see this Myron, he's under an AMP thing. Talking shit about any AMP member. Every time I see this he's hating on AMP, bro. Huh? I'm about to let you in on a little secret. Come come closer. No, closer. Closer. Hey, yo. Myron is a loser. You, yo, oh, absolutely. fucking lootly. I'm glad you said that, Omizi. I'm glad you just said that, bro. Before I started this recording, I said I hate the nigga that this video is about. I absolutely do. <laughs> I be telling Kendrick all the time, every time I see this nigga, every time I see this nigga Myron, in general, bro, he's under like an he's under like an AMP nigga's tweet or or fear buck about AMP, and he always is a hating ass nigga. Like I fucking hate Myron, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, I hate that nigga. He a bitch ass nigga, bro. Like you, bitch. It's fine, I'm not you a bro. Fat. You man, look like shit. Thank your you. hair's a wig. Your stomach My is jiggling. You look like. Oh, he also called. I saw this video right here. I saw it on TikTok. I think he called her a hard R. Myron, Myron is not a black guy, bro. Here's the thing. They can fuck up. This yeah. is Florida. Yeah. You dumb bitch. Now, most of you may have seen it was fight night on Fresh and Fit, the podcast. I saw that shit. Hit him with the left. Hit him with the right. I'm going to knock that pussy up like, like fight, fight night. night. And anytime that there is some yes, sort sir. of drama, Myron Gaines is going to take the opportunity to show why he is America's biggest loser. Absolutely. Even though he's not a part of the weight loss challenge, he is America's biggest loser. Walter, whenever you decide to let that go, brother, you know, I, I'll pull up a chair right here next to me and we can have a conversation. I, I'll be willing and ready to have that conversation. Now, that video went viral on the internet and a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it but myron wanted to add some context because he felt like he was poorly represented in this situation poorly represented yeah calling another black woman the hard r poorly represented nigga you did that to yourself bro another thing i can't stand that myron does is like i know that nigga can't fight how do I know this nigga can't fight? Because anytime this nigga has any sort of like altercations, he brings up this is Florida. It's a, a stand your ground state or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then he proceeds to bring up killing niggas with guns. Like, bro, nigga, you don't know how to fight clearly because niggas is not trying to shoot you. They're trying to fight you. For context, this girl kept claiming racism while calling girls on the panel white and bitches for two plus hours. While calling other girls on the panel white. All right. Whereas prior to this altercation, she then attacked the girl on my staff while being escorted out and my staff looked her up. I got in the middle and broke it up despite my staff member having her in a headlock and being able to beat her ass. FL is a stand your ground state. Despite her disrespect, I still saved her from getting her ass whipped, but black women say I'm a racist misogynist. Now in the world, there are levels to loserdom. You have to kind of rank them accordingly. Loserdom? I think Myron is peak loserdom Absolutely. up there with like Don Trump Jr. and Elon Musk. I don't know, maybe even Aiden Ross if you ask the right people. But honestly, right below them <laughs> is the woman in question Shout who got the brakes beat off her because she was so loud and so proud about her efforts being on the Fresh and Fit platform. I here's what I'll say as well. I don't understand why why women keep going on the Fresh and Fit podcast when they see what that podcast is really about. Like they see all the clips of the podcast. I don't know if they watch the podcast in full. I don't understand why these women keep going on that podcast to be literally embarrassed and and shit talked in front of an audience. I, I don't get it, bro. The baddest one you'll ever see. Just like Dochi said, they never seen the black coming man ready for this shit tonight y'all get ready now it's a simple harmless clip but really it's the caption that makes her the biggest loser in the room outside of myron of course yeah she did say something about it being about black men and <sighs> she says this was moments before the bs the hate some black men have for natural black woman is truly insane or whatever the hell she said i am truly one of one now i've I really did, like, I saw that caption too, and I was like, oh, brother. Obviously, I have no sympathy for this woman at all. I mean, she's just a pawn, she's just a puppet. Why she is lumping all black men categorically into one box by saying the hate that black men have after being on the Fresh and Fit podcast with Nuts. two known losers, I have no idea. She Nuts. just wants some internet clicks and validation, but that's why I've got to put her right at the second ring of that loser tier list. Earlier Absolutely. this year, when Aiden Ross invited the young lady that was on the Jubilee oh, video onto their platform. And oh, he said something about like her having hair and shit and being ugly because she has hair and 
Ugh, some fuck. sort of debate with Nick Fuentes. She humbly declined and said, no, I don't want to be on that platform. And, and then this nigga went reasons. off. She felt as if it would be counterproductive. It wouldn't lead to any sort of good resolves, good resolutions. A few days ago, Aiden Ross hit me up and offered me $20,000 to debate Nick Fuentes. I said no for several reasons, but the biggest one is that he's a white supremacist. I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory, but if you engage in a debate with the leader of a hate group, you are legitimizing that as a perspective that should be considered. How am I supposed ooh, to have a debate? Oh, I, oh, she kind of, she kind of ate with that. I'm not gonna lie. With someone who openly idolizes Adolf Hitler. Like, what are we supposed to talk about, guys? Healthcare? That's nuts. No. No, if you want to disagree with me about policy, that's fine. I don't care. But you can't just like hate people for no reason and expect me to like normalize that. So that's mm, number one. I agree. Number two is his fans got really excited about it. Why did they get really excited about it? Because they're a hate group. And mm -hmm. what does a hate group need? Something and someone to hate. So essentially, I was being paid $20,000 to provide entertainment for a bunch of fuck- <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> and honestly, I applaud her for that. A lot of times people like get on these platforms and are ultimately monkeys for the bigger creator. But in this situation, this hey, user yo. decided to go on this platform, knowing that this would happen, decided to take it to there and ultimately got hands put to her. Now she tries That's to make what this I said. out by saying- like you, you went to, you went to, okay, hold on. I honestly hate that you even went on the showing no, went on the show knowing who Fresh and Fit was. That's what I'm getting at. Like you knew what they do. And you went on this. If you look at her page for three seconds, she clearly didn't know who they were. She clearly didn't know what she was invited to. Don't play that role. I like that. Don't play that role. You <clears throat> let me let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this because now th th she's playing the 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 I didn't know shit role. If you get hit up by some producers about a podcast. Not like a like a movie role, nothing like that. A podcast. The fact that you didn't look up the podcast that they were inviting you to to see what the podcast about is your own dumbass fault. If that's true, by the way. That's your fault. You shouldn't get invited to a podcast and be like, yeah, I'll do the podcast for some money. Fuck it. Without knowing what it's about. What if the podcast was a I hate all black people podcast and the producers are like, hey, let's get you on this podcast. I think you'll really like it. And then you're like, fuck it. Yeah. What's the name of the podcast? And they tell you the name of the podcast. And it's obviously not I hate all black people. But on the podcast, they always say, like, I hate all black people. Stay with me now. <laughs> let's say you're like, OK, cool. And you don't do any research on that pad podcast. Then you go in, get treated like shit because you're a black person and then you get mad at them. Talking about some blah, blah, blah. Oh, they hate to, they hate they give black people, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, you, like, if you just did research at all, just for a fucking few seconds, you would have found out this is a podcast you probably should not be on. But this has to be some sort of indictment on people's inability to have any sort of critical thinking skills, do their due diligence or whatever. And this is why when people end up in the situations they end up in, I have little to no sympathy. What do you mean you did no research on these guys? You're telling exactly. me somebody entered your DMs, texted your phone or emailed you and said, hey, do you want to be on this podcast for several hours? And you decided to just wing it and go That's what look I, I know that podcasting can seem like it's the biggest thing in the world and you probably have nothing going on with your life but you can't be that stupid you, you really ever go to a job interview without knowing who the job is now i've seen this before on many That's different platforms we've seen rappers go on platforms and they are uncomfortable because they don't know the specifics of the platform but ultimately i blame them and their team now this woman in this situation was probably lying because people dug up dirt and said hey how did you know the asian dog got kicked off of their platform Ooh. And she did say that in the video. She said, this is what they did to Asian Doll. This is what they did to Asian Doll. How'd you know that if you don't know who Fresh and Fit is? You did this to your fucking self. But this is neither here nor there. The bigger question is, why continue to go on Fresh and Fit? The only reason why is because you seem to be like Fresh and Fit. As people dug deeper into her tweets on her... I really hate black people. I'm the female Uncle Ruckus. Then you want to go and be like the hate they give black women. Oh. Page where she is claiming to hate black people, calling herself the female Uncle Ruckus and dividing the diaspora Nuts. even wider. It seems that she mm -hmm. is more Myron than we once believed. More like a Myronette mm -hmm. or Myronetta. I don't know. Myronetta. Myronette. 
whatever you want to call her. And I don't want to make this video too much about her. Clearly, she is a basket case. I mean, anybody who willingly participates to go on that show and provide content for these people literally are showing and telling you that they don't have any sort of sense at all. But let's shimmy back up on the loser totem pole and talk about the lead loser Fucking himself, Myron. Myron. See, Myron is a guy who champions authenticity. He wants people to be held accountable and often <laughs> criticizes and chastises women who don't know how to take accountability for their actions. But his own behavior reveals a big double standard that Myron- The thing about Myron is, it's he he only claims to be black when it benefits him. I don't he, I don't see Myron as a black man. I I truly see uh I truly see Myron as a coon. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Ever, uh, I I truly see Myron as a, an Uncle Tom, bro. I really do, bro. Myron can't get behind. You see, when faced with criticism or being challenged of his own actions, Myron does the same thing that these 304s do that he claimed: deflect, gaslight, and ultimately not take accountability. For mm -hmm. it. And hell, even sometimes when the rubber has to meet the road, he's gonna come with straight up alpha male aggression. <laughs> Your mother is a bitch. Speak for yourself. Oh. Yeah, listen, you oh. fing oh. retard. Oh. 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 How about you get your ass up and get the fuck out of here? Get the fuck out of here. How about that, bitch? Ratchet ass Caribbean host that you can come in here and run the shit you want. Go shake your ass downstairs like the And let's talk about let's talk about this nigga. Let's talk about this nigga right here. This nigga's a puss ball. Oh my god, this nigga's a bitch, bro. Oh my god, I hate fresh. 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 This nigga, this nigga's a bitch. He is such a bitch ass nigga, bro. And not in the sense of Myron. Myron's just a bitch ass nigga because he's a bitch ass nigga. Fresh is a bitch ass nigga because he doesn't stand up for himself. He's actually just a pussy nigga. <laughs> when women get worked up, they are snowflakes, they're soft, they're sensitive. And when he gets worked up, he's the big dog. He's the mm -hmm. top guy, and it's valid when he does it. People oftentimes cite that DJ Academics only turns up on women, but literally they should be pointing the fingers at Myron. Do y'all remember the time that Myron pulled the yappa out on somebody? I'm talking about the strap. I'm talking about that, that piece. This is Allende from Authentic Alpha's YouTube. Used to work for Fresh and Fit. You know, arrange guests, bring people That's on, etc. Et and of course, we don't know how to fight. He just things, gun, gun, gun. Kicking gun. women out when they got really disgruntled. Ultimately, they had their disagreements and he was let go. But one day, he pulled up on Myron and Walter at the Fresh and Fit pod and said, let's handle things. Come outside and let's talk about it like a man. Now, when I say come outside and talk about it like a man, of course, I obviously mean fight with fists. Yeah. I think a lot of with men fist. know that. Baby? Whoa. What the hell? What's going on in here? Oh, what the I end hell? this here. Don't come in this house. Yeah, I don't, I don't, don't come in this house, bro. Outside, don't do it, man. Do you're literally trying. Try yo, you're you're committing a crime right oh, now, bro. No, what? No, no. Uh, you kick uh, bitches out. Kick, kick me out, out nigga. You, you ain't inside, bro. Kick, you ain't inside. inside. Oh, kick me out. No. Yo, fucking pussy. Yeah, exactly. But this is when Myron. The yeah, exactly. Nah, cause he can't fucking fight. He he just had the strap on him. He was ready to shoot him. Big alpha male, the big dog, came outside with that packing that. And said, uh -uh, this, this is what we're doing here. Now, once he had that he thing out, he offered Allende to come inside. And obviously, he wouldn't do that because, you know, Florida has a stand your ground law, which ultimately is a big cop out, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Come on in, man. Come on in, though. You got a gun? Come on in, bro. I'm afraid of a gun, nigga. Okay, come you on in. See, niggas need a gun for a nigga that ain't. Come got on it. in, then. Remember, come that. on in. Only a bitch need a gun. Now, if you got a gun to protect yourself, that's a whole different issue. But knowing that you have some sort of disagreement issue or you know disconnect with somebody that you used to employ, and they want to have a conversation that ultimately escalates to hands being brought out, as a man, you bring out the hands. But exactly. I don't understand why niggas is like, bro. I don't know why niggas are always gun first, bro. Did, did did we forget to teach our, our 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 boys how to fucking fight? I was raised when I was getting raised, bro. I learned how to fight, bro. I was taught how to fight, bro. Niggas want to gun this, gun that. You niggas is pussy, bro. But you don't bring out the lie. hands on the gun. That's a little weird to me. Now, people are saying, Omar, this is a one-off. You know, Myron's still a big dog. He's a, he's the one of the big guys. But let's not forget about the fake robbery. Let's not forget about the time that he didn't want to fight Preach. Let's also not forget uh, about the time where he had to cuss out, out Asian preach. doll because that's what real men do. They cuss out women. You know, this is like the fifth uh, time I've told you that, right? Yeah, Sixth so, time. Like, I'm stop. So, he mean as fuck. <laughs> I'm not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? Uh, no. All right, then. So you don't know what was happening, I don't right? Give a fuck. How are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down and say, oh, you're mean? It don't matter. I can say that. Okay, well, you can get the fuck off the show, too. I don't give a fuck. Get off the show, too. Man. Like, bro, you gotta show a little oh, yeah, respect bro. on the platform. It's it cool, respect. bro. Chill. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck do you want me to say? That's you not the truth, mean? though. You mad about I said mean? Yeah, he, not gonna lie. That, that hurt his ego getting called mean. He talk about show some respect on the platform. Nigga, I called you mean. I didn't say you a bitch ass nigga. I just called you mean.
How was that not? That was that. What? <laughs> Grown as hell. <laughs> yeah, Yo, she well. low key chewed him up, bro. I'm not gonna lie, she low key chewed him up. She low key chewed him up with this one. I said, me, you grown as hell. What? Yeah, well, okay. Asian dog went on that podcast, got disrespected, got disrespectful, and when Myron had the opportunity to do the normal Myron things, he bitched up. He didn't do what he normally does. Naturally, he's gonna take to the internet when given the opportunity. <laughs> He walked in his bedroom and closed the door peacefully. I have 15 people in there behind those cameras, and that's why I gagged him calmly. We would have torn him up in his little condo. Is this your 15 niggas? Stop the cap. You guys ran out of there because of the Florida Castle Doctrine. Oh, my God. Opportunity to defend himself because he couldn't do it in front of somebody's face. But this is just all building a case as to why Myron is a joke. Ultimately, he's mm -hmm. not the guy that he claims to be and why people should look at him as the top dog loser. If Andrew Tate is top G, he's top L for top loser. And don't forget, every <laughs> time he gets a chance to call out black people and their behavior and Absolutely. call it low IQ for simply just existing, he's going to do it. It's amazing Shout how he AMP. hated on the AMP. You see? You see? I told you, every time I see this nigga Myron, he's under an AMP thing, talking shit about any AMP member. I tell Kendrick this shit all the time. Every time I see this nigga, he's hating on AMP, bro. Nigga's literally just a, oh my. Guys for having their Ferraris and having their cars at the gas station, chilling and recording some content. Low IQ blacks doing low IQ shit. Okay, fresh brother. Does the same exact thing. When he does the exact, exact fresh. content, it doesn't mean anything. It's not low IQ black behavior. It's nothing to even call out. And then it's something that we definitely didn't touch on on this channel. There was a time period which Myron, and in order to find new identity, new crowd, went totally off the deep end and started to fall into these right wing spaces by dressing up as KKK members, throwing up Hail Hitler signs, Nazi salutes, etc., etc. I mean, totally going so far off the deep end that nobody, and I mean, nobody would look at him and say, "Yo, you are some sort of black man who should be proud of themselves. You you should literally look at yourself as some sort of disgrace. And it's funny because mm -hmm. when he tries to pander to these audiences, they honestly don't even respect him, which I think is a sign. Okay, well. Gonna... Oh my God, guys. I was just about to say, I hope he shows the part where one of, he, there was this white guy who literally called Myron a sand nigga with the hard R. That shit had me fucking rolling and he didn't say shit. You're not yeah. gonna have a or whatever. You're not gonna have a conversation with him. That's what I'm okay, trying to well, say. Okay, well, this dude's a so whatever. Can British guy you're like, mad. dude? I know you're mad about this. Mate, men, black men yeah. are like most hey, likely to hey, fuck, fuck other black hey, men. Hey, you hey, hey, black. He's not British. Hey, hey. He's not British. I'm sorry, oh, sir. It's a fucking white space. We know that. They're, I know. They're the fucking rules. If you are doing racist bullshit Insane. and the racists don't even accept you into their places and spaces, then that means that there is something wrong with you as a person as a whole. Like your insides as a whole. Because they don't like doing that shit. White guys were all like, yeah, well, uh, I said we. we yeah, well, not me. <laughs> yeah, he's not white. He's white. <laughs> Oh, self-hate doesn't look good on you, but nope. it looks fitting at the same time. Myron. Absolutely. I think the reason that Myron goes through these different phases is because one, the platform is dying and failing, and this is one way to continuously try to keep themselves engaged and in front of people's faces. Like they are so far away from self-help for men. It is absolutely ridiculous. They aren't providing any tangible or beneficial things that they used to provide, even though at that time, those things were still <laughs> slim. He's not providing any of that anymore. Two, yeah. because he might truly just just hate itself like anybody who can accidentally call themselves a white man fully put That's on a kkk hood even if you don't identify with black nuts. americans if you identify with whatever knowing that that's what that stands for i feel like that's just silly connecting yourselves with some of the people he connects himself with not a black acting man. this way towards the people that he acts towards like it's it's all just weird behavior and the only way that somebody could really really describe it is if they hated themselves and three i probably call this person just a coward overall especially when he does these things in places and spaces in which he's comfortable i apologize applaud all the content creators that have really harsh stances and go out there into uncomfortable and unrecognizable territories to have these conversations, continue these debates and challenge people that sit on the opposite side of them. But the reason why they do that from the comfort of their home is because they know that nothing will happen to them. Myron yep. knows that nothing will happen to him. Like the one time when he did find out what would happen to him is when he called out Preach's wife and challenged Preach to a fight. If y'all want to talk shit, come back in the studio. We'll talk about it. 
Or we could box about it too. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 Let's box it out. How about that? <laughs> if you want to fucking do this shit, let's go. Shout Both out Alan Preach. I'll preach. be in U.S. next fucking week. Hold up, hold up. We'll put gloves on. Because not only this, that's why I have a problem. Now you talk. And it's nuts because he was like, we'll throw on gloves and we'll actually duke it out. Now this nigga want to bring up guns. Like, that's how you know this nigga Myron cannot fight, bro. Shit about my wife. This nigga Preach is married. Prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. <laughs> and you talk shit about my country. Said that he was about to send me on a boat to my country, to Haiti. Cool. I'll drop by your fucking studios. Now, I don't believe Preach to not be a man of his word. He hasn't shown me anything to believe otherwise. So when he pulled up, I was expecting Myron, the alpha male supreme, to pull up too. But, you know, he didn't. I was lofty in my thinking. You want to fight? That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it then. I was texting French. Let's do it. Put some gloves That's on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We put some gloves on. We box it out. You said you've been nice in the gym and you want to box me out. Let's go. Do you stand by those comments today? I said what I said. Now, obviously, it didn't happen because Myron is a person who shouldn't be credible. And I think all of this is just a case as Fact. to why he is America's biggest loser. loser. There's a lot of people on the internet that are saying he shouldn't even be classified as a black man anymore. And honestly, I'm going to have to agree with him. If he's That's what I, bro. I said that earlier, didn't I? I don't think that nigga's a black guy. I and think he's a to a Uncle white Tom. man, then that's fine with, if that's what he wants to do. I would even drop the white label because I don't want to generalize white people as a whole and put him over there as if it's some sort of punishment. And then I would drop the label as a man as well because honestly, <laughs> I don't think that this is how men operate. I don't think that they nah. go around riling up women, being mm -mm. racist intentionally for clicks and views, that aligning themselves boy. with other people that don't want him in their own reality, and then challenging people to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, but then ducking the smoke or pulling out their gun anytime that they get a chance because they know that they've created a mess that honestly they can't even handle so now they're doing it the easy way they're going the easy way mm -hmm. and running from their actual battles i wouldn't classify that as a man at this nope. point the only way to classify myron Gaines is by his deserved and rightfully earned title of loser and loser. anyone who goes on those platforms and aligns themselves with his ideologies will from here on out be known as a loser as well yeah Absolutely. and that goes for the lady that got hands put on her as well she's a loser too yeah good shit bro i really like omizi's videos bro this nigga is like he makes some good ass videos bro i'm not gonna lie i agree bro i think i, I don't think we should classify myron as a man that nigga is not a man bro he's such a bitch ass nigga bro okay um let me stop